Is this working? Yeah, we're back again. Yeah, so um, it's looking a little better now. And the main thing that I did was just get the... Uh, so the, the attenuation is all still hacked, and I will I'll fix that another time. I really just realized... Uh, what I was um, what I was missing as regards the blending. Uh, so let's jump back into the REPL. So what I was missing here was I wanted to do additive blending, which means you want both. Um, you want to take the source color and the destination color and add them together. Now blending parameters is working kind of an interesting way. If I just bring up the documentation. And it is actually the documentation of blending parameters we're interested in here. Um, oh, this is going to be quite hard to read. So let's uh, let's bring this up. In here, I wrote down kind of a pseudo the pseudo code for how uh, blending works, and what it does. Well, how it uses those parameters you give it. And so what we have down here is. Um, you provide the source RGB and the destination RGB um, are kind of like, where are they? Da, 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 source RGB, destination RGB, where is it? Source RGB, here we go. Um, the first thing that has to happen is it computes a new source RGB and it takes in the source RGB and destination RGB and the blend prans source RGB. So this one here is a function. And all it does in this case is just return the source RGB unchanged. So the source RGB is essentially multiplied by one. And the destination, we have to commute new destination, uh, which is going to do the same thing. It takes the, uh, this is actually, it'll take the destination RGB and multiply that by one. So these two are then unchanged. And then further down here, it also does some things with the alpha, but we're not concerned with the alpha because that's just, um, that's just zero in our case. Um, and then to compute the final color value, it uses the RGB mode, the mode RGB function on these two things. And the default mode RGB function for when you're making blend params is function add. So it's gonna add together the result of this multiplied by one and this multiplied by one. And Mafanio just turned up and said, oh, I just got to the notification two minutes ago that you went live, guess I missed three hours. Uh, yeah, I, I um, this is actually just a little bonus episode because uh, when we finished the stream, everything looked like garbage. Um, and then I realized what I was doing wrong with blending params, so I just wanted to do a quick stream and uh, and show what that was. So yeah, that that was really it. So I, I gave it new blending params. I um, went back to Playwiverts and again, set with blending using those blending params. And then suddenly everything was adding together. I tweaked the colors very slightly. Um, and like I say, I didn't affix attenuation. I did increase the scale of the spheres. Um, to cover more of their range. So what we do have here, even though it doesn't show it off very well, is there's about a thousand lights in this scene um, and 65,000 objects. And it's all running in real time, deferred rendering, We're using instancing on the lights. It's it's really cool, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with what we got in the end. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, have a good Christmas and I'll um, see all the folks in New Year. Ciao.